Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Okay. So let me add my group. The Winter Circle group. Good morning, Periscope. Good morning. Good morning, Facebook. Good morning to everybody. And um, you see the topic up there. <laughs> you might say, well, what is she talking about today? So I want to talk to you guys about investing versus gambling. Investing versus gambling. Because we, um, as people, good morning. <laughs> good morning. We, as people, um, really don't know the difference. And if you guys hear um, a bunch of background noise, I'm actually inside of a restaurant. I have to meet somebody here, so I decided to just go ahead and go live so I can fulfill my obligation for Tuesday. <laughs> fulfill my obligation for Tuesday, and today is Tuesday, and um, today is the day that I go live on Facebook and Periscope. I need to figure out how to go live on Instagram as well. So I need to figure that out. Okay, so my name is Delia. I'm the owner of DNT Investment and Consultant, where I teach individuals how to invest in the stock market. If you need to contact me, you can contact me at www.dtinvestmentglobal.com, and that is www.dtinvestmentglobal.com, or you can reach me at admin, a d m i n at dtinvestmentglobal.com. So, what we're going to talk about today is investing versus gambling yes investing versus gambling and some people think it's the same thing but in a sense you're putting your money away in in hopes of a profit that concept is is the same but the concept of actually gambling um whatever type of gambling you're doing whether it's betting on a game whether it's um um, shooting crabs, I don't know, playing cards. <laughs> I don't know what type of gambling that you may um, be on, but you have to understand it's not the same. And let me just explain to you what gambling is. And I took some notes. So I'm be looking back and forth at my notes. So when a person gambles, they have the, um, put my notes right here. So I want to keep on looking away too far away. So they play a game and they bet. And they expect something monetary in return. But what people don't understand that when you gamble, all the odds are, all the odds can be similar. It can be kind of against you. It can be against you when you're gambling versus investing. Now, let me tell you some of the, quali um, some of the qualities of actually um, investing. Some of the qualities of investing is, of course, there are going to be some risks. You can have the opportunity and, um, to diversify your money. You also can diversify your money and um, act a di different access classes. So whether that's a stock, whether that's a bond, whether that's a mutual fund, whether that's an ETF, exchange traded fund, whatever the case may be, you can spread your money out across a different, different um, assets. So there's also risk management when you are investing. You also have the ability to stop loss. And I love, love, love stop loss. See, for those who don't know, stop loss is an, is an order type. There's several different type of order types that I teach in my class um, that I won't really get into detail right now. But when you are investing and you place a trade, you can um, put an order type that is called stop loss. And in that order type, if you lose a certain amount of money, guess what? It will stop. <laughs> it will basically stop. It will. You will be able to, you know, pretty much stop that order or execute that order, or stop losing money. But when you're gambling, it does not work like that. You also have the ability to control your risk when you are investing. Controlling your risk, and different people have a, uh, with investing with your strategies, um, slow and steady strategy slow and gradually invest like I said on before you can do dollar cost average investing or you can do a lump sum so 
in terms of investing versus gambling, you can do a slow, slow, and a slow and steadily style investing and that's similar to like a dollar cost average so you can kind of control your risk when you're investing in the stock market and another thing when you're thinking about taxes because okay you can never get away from um, taxes <laughs> you just can't whenever you open your account you have to fill out your tax information whether that's going to be um, yeah y'all heart me on up heart me on up on Periscope <laughs> Look, I got the hearts going. Facebook, I need to feel the love too. I need to feel the love too. <laughs> but um, so when you're thinking about taxes, and y'all please share, please share. I know I just get in and I start talking and I don't be telling people to share. And when you're thinking about taxes, um, when taxes can be deferred. Taxes can be referred when you when you have your 401 and your different plans like that. Taxes can be deferred, but you but you also have to think about so you have to pay um, some of the fees from making profits as well when you are investing in regards of taxes. Remember, I said I'm in a um, I'm in a restaurant. Y'all probably see people behind me. Okay, <laughs> these people are not with me. They're just people in a restaurant. Okay, <laughs> so. And let's think about invest um, um gambling. When gambling, listen, I'm all familiar with gambling. Those who know me personally, they know I have gamblers in my family. They know, hey, you probably even seen me back in the day gambling. So I know both ends of the stick, okay? I know both ends. But the difference now, gambling was BC before Christ, okay? <laughs> Gambling for me was BC before Christ. <laughs> um, but it was never a return on my profit when I gamble. It was not, it was either the strategy for gambling. Remember, I told you the strategy for, for investing was slow and steady, dollar cost average. The strategy for gambling is lump sum, all or nothing. <laughs> all or nothing. Fast money fast money that's what I wanted and that's what the people that I know gamble they want it and they want it now so you hardly ever can minimize your risk when you're gambling what type of risk can you minimize when you're gambling you want the fast money you want it quick you don't have the opportunity to do a stop loss unless you decide that you lost a lot of money when you're gambling and you just said okay enough is enough and you're getting out of there that's the only way <laughs> that's the only way that's the only way that's the only way i remember so there was times i mean one of my things i used to play cards and i also used to play the the the, the casino um stuff so i mean i know about it I ain't talking about nothing that i, I done seen i'm talking about something i've been involved in it <laughs> so um you don't really have the opportunity to um to weigh your choices when you're gambling as well. Um, normally when you're gambling, you you can't say, okay, you can't play like at a whole bunch of different card tables at one time. How are you gonna do that? Or you can't, how much is all in? Okay, if that's what you wanna do, <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, so if, I'm laughing at somebody on um, on Periscope saying what they might start selling. <laughs> That's what you want to do. <laughs> That's funny. So whenever you're gambling, you have to think about weighing your choices. Remember what I said when you are investing, you have the opportunity to invest either in mutual funds, stocks, ETFs, exchange traded funds. You also have the opportunity to, um, to be an investor as far as real estate as well. But when you're gambling, no, it's either you're going to play on that card table, you're going to play that casino, or you're going to play the blackjack, whatever your thing is, or whatever. If I didn't call it out, hey, it's all a part of gambling, if that's your thing. Um, some people um, play, I have up here slot machines, craps, I have up here um, casino. Like I said, can you, just let me introduce you to this side. Oh, yeah, I can introduce you. Log into my website, www.dtinvestmentglobal.com, if you want to know about stock market. I teach people how to invest in the stock market. I would love to teach you how to invest. So, 
think about www.dtinvestmentglobal.com www.dtinvestmentglobal dtinvestmentglobal.com so you also when you're gambling your, you have to weigh out your choices. You don't have your welcome. You also have to take in consideration your minimum of your risk. You also have to think about is fast money when you're gambling. You also have to think, people say it's all or nothing, all or nothing, all or nothing. So, and I want to put up here, uh, I put up here some of the um, return on your interest or some of the the percentage so to speak you not really return on your interest because that's not what it is when you're gambling so people that shoot craps you have like a 11 percent chance of receiving a profit people that receive um, slot machines is like a 15 percent chance blackjack is like a 0.63 percent chance this is what i want you guys to really understand gambling and investing is not the same they're regulated different. Gambling revolves um, a higher risk. Gambling is um, all or nothing. With investing, you can um, put little, you can gradually put money in it. Do you have the potential to lose money when you're investing in a stock market? Absolutely. Remember what I always say, without risk, there's no reward. So you also can lose money when you're investing. However, you can diversify that money among different access classes you also have the opportunity to manage your risk so i want you guys to to be aware when people say okay gambling and investing is the same it's not the same it's not the same it's not the same as someone that's been on, on part of both sides of the fences i know that it's not the same you don't receive a return on your profit when you are gambling you don't receive dividend income you don't receive um, evidence from the money you earn from the investment itself when you're gambling you just receive that one lump sum and that's it if you make a profit so you guys be very mindful I know a lot of people's tax season and stuff like that so just very be very mindful when you're taking into consideration if you should actually invest in the stock market remember it is a way for you to accumulate wealth it's one way among several different ways remember i like i always say think of wealth as like a portfolio i mean not portfolio of like a pie like a slice of pie in the stock market will represent one slice of the pie one slice of the pie and i want you guys to definitely know about investing versus gambling. My name is Delia, once again, D-E-L-I-A, and I am the owner of DNT Investment and Consultant. Check me out on my website, www.dtinvestmentglobal.com, and, or email me, and I would love to hear from you soon. Remember, I only provide stock market tips on here, but if you're actually interested in me teaching, like my people on Periscope was, Check out my website. I would love to teach you how to invest in the stock market. I do not invest your money for you, but I will teach you how to understand the stock market and how to successfully open an account so that you can use whatever investment strategy that you decided on and you can continue to build wealth. Our goal is to build wealth, not to have a gambling mindset, but to have a, a mindset as an investor. A mindset of an investor. So we can teach, we can learn, and then we can teach the people that's coming, that we are connected to, and we can teach the people that's um, coming behind us. You guys have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.